Mellow Mechanic here. So I got my garden trailer out front today and I got some issues that I need to address. First thing is this. This is a piece I built that holds my leaf blower on this side and my little bottle sprayer on that side. And I kind of threw it together a while ago thinking it'd be good enough. But what it's doing down here, I don't know if you can see it, is it's cracking. Because the material I used is super duper thin. And so this is just moving back and forth like this and it's fatiguing right here and cracking. So we gotta address that um, and uh, put a spare tire on this thing because it doesn't have one. So I got a mount and a tire, we gotta put that on somewhere. But first things first, let's go ahead and remove this and uh, get rid of the paint. Maybe I'll sandblast it, maybe a wire wheel. But let's take it off, see what we gotta work with. All right, I took the piece off the trailer, put it on the workbench. I got the towel here just so you can see it because it's just, it's black and it's so dark, it doesn't really want to show up in camera. But anyway, that's what we're going to fix right there. Hopefully that comes out. Something else that uh, I just remembered I wanted to do is uh, this piece right here. This holds my rake, and uh, it holds it pretty good, but it slips off this bottom and stabs my lawnmower, and then i got to lift it up to get the lawnmower out, and it's kind of a pain, so I need a little plate here or something to hold the bottom of the rake. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if this will fit in my blaster and clean off this area. Okay, so it totally didn't even fit in my, uh, my blaster. So I gotta go to plan B. So I got it uh, in the vise here, and I'm gonna use this. This is a little uh, tool I made. There's a video of it. I'll put a link right up there, but it's a little arbor I made. Um, never use it with this wire brush, but we'll see how it works here. <laughs> Works pretty good. All right, let me do the rest of this and uh, see where we're at. And then I'm uh, gonna make a, uh, a gusset for that, but uh, let me clean this off. All right, I got all the paint off and uh, look how good it worked. That little tool right there. So, anyway, now you can really see. Oh, there it goes more. You can see that flexing right there. Probably should have used some different material, but. Anyway, that's what we got. So I found this digging through my scrap bin, and I think I'll weld this down here, and that'll hold my, my rake in position, hold the bottom of it. And then I found this, and I think if I cut this in half and like bevel that corner, and I can put one there and one there, that should hold it. Let's go ahead and make that. All right, let's see here. Pieces three and a half long. Get my pin out here. So we're gonna do one and three corner right there. Boom! Let's cut that in half, and we'll have two pieces. All right, so I got my pieces cut. I got my two gussets here. This I kind of sanded that and trimmed that up, so that's a little cleaner. Ground down the welds here, cleaned up the welds here. Uh, I think what I'll do is just put another weld there and then these will fit in here like this. And I'll just weld that and then this will go probably up here, something like that. So the rake will come down there, sit in here and then just this will hold the bottom. So uh, let me go ahead and weld this. I think I'll use my MIG welder on this and uh, let's do that. There we go. Got to finish welding that. Gussets are in. I rewelded that. This thing should be a lot stronger. And yes, it is. So let me uh, finish welding everything. And next thing I do is just paint it up, put it back on. All right, so it's been a couple days, but in the meantime, I got this painted. I got that remounted. So that's done. And look at this. That's a lot stronger. I guess it's down there, so we fix that. Now what we got to do is let's mount this spare tire. And I'm thinking I don't want it. I could mount it like right here, but then it's out and exposed. I'm thinking up underneath, because I got this plate here, this mount. 
And I can just mount that underneath there and hang the tire down. Then the tire's out of the sun, out of the weather, out of sight. The downside is if I get a flat tire, which will probably happen in the rain, I have to lay on my back to get the tire. But I think that's okay. So let's go ahead and mount it. So underneath the trailer here, if I mount this just behind, I don't know if you can see that there, just behind that cross member, I should have enough room for the tire to not hit the axle and the shackle here, but it'd be on the passenger side so I can get it. So instead of putting it in the middle, I think I'll put it over on this other side right here. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is just drill some holes through my boards. I got some carriage bolts. Just bolt that piece on. Let's do that. All right, I got my bracket mounted. Now when I was drilling the holes, I noticed on this thing, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. Look at those double nails. They nailed the wood to the steel cross member and just shot nails right through it. I've never seen that. That's wild. But anyway, let's put the tire on and get this thing done. All right, I got the tire mounted underneath there, and I think that'll work okay. Uh, hangs down a little bit, but if you draw a line from the bottom of the tire, or this tire, and go up to the hitch, I don't think I'm going to hit anything. But anyway, out of sight, out of mind, out of the way. It doesn't take up any space on my kind of low deck up here. So anyway, I got all my stuff on this so you can see how that mounts. So I got my rake holder. My spray bottle, my blower, all mounted on the corner. My weed eater goes here and the lawnmower goes obviously in the big part. But anyway, she's all put back together. So I anyway, hope this uh, video was entertaining and uh, thank you for watching.